What the hell is that over there? What's what's this? Why is there like a shadow in my church? Ooh. Oh, okay, that's a good number of fate. Why is there a shadow in my church under that guy? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We're in the main menu, not because of any sort of issue with our save. No read a freak out there, but I wanted to show this off that's very important. You see this whole say, um, .678? You see the very first one, Dialogue Freeze Fix? Oh, thank God, it's finally fixed. Now, today I have some plans. Um, what day is it to begin with? It's going to be um, Red... Oh, we have like two red days here. I'm going to call you Pink Day. <laughs> are you red or pink? No, you're red. You're like orange. I'm going to call you Orange Day or something. It doesn't really matter what day you are. Um, we have to do a couple of things here first. Um, I'm going to start working on that honey farm finally, which in order to get fixed up, we need apparently, let's say I got a list here. Four plank, four iron parts, and two paper, really, to fix the, the honey farm? That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so we need planks. Let's come on over here. Oh, I also need some complex parts for something else, too. So, if, um, or not complex parts, I think we... No, we do, actually. So, in order to do that, we need to start getting this um, up and running. So, fuel that up, and then you go ahead and do this. Now, I want to get up to furnace number two, because I've heard that if I do furnace two, I'll get two against in one go. The problem is I'm requiring blue experience points, and I am completely tapped out in terms of studying body parts. I don't have anything else to study for this, so the only way right now that I could get this is by making glass over and over, which is a very slow, tedious process. If you guys know how to get blue orbs, other than like studying parts, which I already did, and making glass, do let me know, because I need to get up to like something. Iron cutter number two, and guess what? Iron cutter number two requires 50 blues, and I got 24, so <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get there very, very slowly is the problem. Uh, wooden plank, okay, so we need at least like, excuse me. Get, get your ass to work. We need four of you to get that bee farm up and running. We are also have to... Oh yeah, today we're going to also be making the first combo prayer finally, which I finally got enough parts for. So you over here... I, can I make the planks from the woodcutter? I didn't even pay attention to that because... Yes, I can. You know what? It costs less energy over here too. Although I need an entire log for that one. So I guess that's the kind of... Was I using logs for that one? No, I was using the flitch. No, oh, whatever. So, four planks, four iron parts, and two paper, apparently. Now, you guys told me that once I unlock the bee thing for my technology thing, I should be able to now get bees randomly, if I'm very lucky, by just I'm looking for honey. So, it's kind of like the beeswax where it's very random if it drops or not, but sometimes you get bees. Um, is this one of them? Oh, we got a bee! Hey, okay. Well, that's a good example right there. You know, I love it when I talk about something and it happens, so, like, you know, I have, like, the demonstration at the same time. So that worked out pretty swell. Can I get a second B? Come on, come on, buddy. No, no B this time. It decided to sting my ass, but that was about it. So here we go. Now we're going to be fixing this B farm up. And what's cool about this, I'll be able to get honey, for one, a lot of it. Um, I'll also be able to hopefully get more reliable beeswax for my candles. Because I found out I can make candles, especially some of the higher quality ones with the white paint that I mentioned. You can make white paint in the game, but it requires the alchemy. And again, alchemy, I would work on that today but we're missing a bunch of blue points to unlock it. So it's one of those things where I need to get the blue thing unlocked first. Uh, or at least get enough blue points first. So, as you saw, 20 Bs. I only got 11 now, so it's going to be a while before we get those up and running. But, you know, once we get some more money from the next um, church day, the next ceremony here, we'll probably run off and buy a couple of Bs or just farm them off camera, one way or the other. So that's done. I wanted to get that here done today, which is excellent. Uh, next thing I want to do is before we get... Before we go to the sermon, which I have to make the combo prayer for, uh, let's put some of this stuff away because it bothers my OCD. You don't belong here with me. You stay in there. We we have parts for you. The bees, I, I forgot where the bees are at. <laughs> are the bees over here? I just put bees in my chest and they're fine and good about it. Well, you guys are troopers, I'll tell you that much. And then for now, you come over here. I think that's fine. All right, let's go underground. I'm not going to sleep because we have church day coming up here pretty soon. I've got stuff to do here. Um, you guys tell me, Falcon, if you want to like store stuff underground and not pull your stuff from here, like your church stuff, you can build a bookshelf underneath the church and that will give you a lot of like inventory space. I think it's like 25. The problem is, as you guessed it again, what do I need? Blue orbs. <laughs> so I need a lot of blue orbs for a bunch of things I need to unlock, which is my only thing that's kind of holding me back here today. So let's see. For this, I need skin for pig skin 
Then the pig skin, I need to turn it into soft cover. And then the soft cover will give me the combo prayer, apparently. So that's up to Snake. Oh, we gotta talk to Snake, too, because apparently he's got a necklace from his charm or something. And that's the next part of her quest. Um, part of the update recently, too, you see how this confessional is on a 5? Wasn't it like 2 before? So they apparently upped the value of the confessional. Which, by the way, everybody keeps telling me is a bad idea not to have it. I should just have like two candelabras in there and put candles instead. And you're probably right. I, I mean, I only made it just because I wanted to test it out. But I hope that, you know, with the final build, they actually rework this because right now it really is pointless. We've only had one confession in like three or four, maybe even more weeks, really. So it just really has not been worth it. Especially when you can just spam candelabras over and over. So we need pigskin for this one here. And then you'll be turning into soft cover. Um, let's see, if soft cover is gonna be apparently not here, so you should be in my desk. Right? Okay. Uh, we might have to unlock you, actually. So, technology. Book writing. There it is. So that's gonna require, yet again, 10 more of my much-needed blue orbs, which annoys me. But at least this kind of gives me the option to... No, not book hard. Um, this gives me the option to at least um, get closer to... I guess the blue orbs that we need. The combo prayer is really good, it's gonna help me out. So here we go, soft cover. Make this happen. And I've been reading a lot into the entire, like, quality of the items. Like, you know, there's bronze, silver, and gold. I've been reading a lot, a lot, uh, reading into a lot about that. Because there's a lot of good information. But right now it's very, like, sketchy. It seems very imbalanced, too. But, um, I'm keeping my eyes out. We need a chapter. The last thing we need is a chapter. Can I make a chapter right now? Or do I mean, I, I know I have some in my box over there. Uh, I need notes over and over, which requires now. Nah, okay, forget that. Oh, it's um church day. We gotta hurry this up, man. Let's use my little dashy dash here and get my chapter, which is gonna be silver. That's fine. This will give us a combo prayer, I'm pretty sure. All right, all right. Hopefully the bishop shows up so I can buy some candles off him too. So there it is. Book card. I know we need that for the combo prayer. Yeah, and like for some reason, you see how this is a book card? It's gonna turn into. Oh, gotta work it first. It's gonna turn into that book card for some reason, and then that turns into the the book. It's kind of like a really weird thing, you see how? It doesn't match the portrait it showed, but that's the one that you need. So we come over here, and... Combo Prayer. There it is. Crafted. And if we had, like, you know, higher quality, we could make it into a silver. Which I guess gives you even more. But eh. Alright, so now we have the Combo Prayer. That's all we really did need. I was hoping to get some kind of labras up and running before. Um, is there enough time for that? Let me have a cake, and for candelabra, I'm looking for four complex and four regular parts. And if the bishop's out there, we could then buy some candles off of him. Really, really foggy here. Let's see. Complex parts, we got three. One, two, three. Um, put that inside. I, I need one more complex. And a couple more of the other one. We should have enough time. I, like, I, I know I can make these and then just rush over there. We got two. Perfect. And then I believe you give me four in one go, right? Well, you gave me three. But, uh, don't go inside. Uh, that's not not enough, really? Oh, I had zero? Really? Oh, because I needed one that I had to make the... Right, okay, that, that makes perfect sense. You know, you just got to pay attention, Val. Pay attention and these things won't confuse you. Okay, so there it is. Now let's um take my shortcut and hurry on up over here. I mean, honestly, I have plenty of time. I just, like, don't... For some reason, I don't like this entire circling system too much. Like, it just freaks me out. Like, I never know exactly how much time I have over. I'm just really terrible with this freaking dial. Um, so now that we have enough for the candy level, let me put one more down. And for now, we'll place it... Uh, who? Oh. oh, boy. That level one has to go. Like, it's just taking up space. For now, we'll place you, like, over here. Okay. So now we're up to a quality of 21, so there's gonna be like 21 people in here, it does seem. Ah, you're here today, perfect. Um, can you not freeze? Because if you freeze, all everything I've done, I have to do again, and I'm gonna be really p p p pissed off. Oh, thank God. Okay, so, um, I got bowls for you. Oh, we should, oh, I got the bowls for him. Oh, we should do that before he leaves. Uh, candles, how many do I need? I didn't even know, I didn't pay attention. I think I needed seven before, so now I should need nine? Oh, I don't even have enough, mo enough money for that. Okay, let me just get, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. let, let me get seven for now. Okay, hold on. Um, stay there. I, I got bowls for you. I got no room for the bowls, but I got bowls. Stay there. 
I need to get the sermon done too. I got a lot of things to do. Oh god, I'm always running late. That body's been there for like seven weeks now. <laughs> I ain't joking around. That body's been there for a very long time. Oh, we got it. Woo, they're ugly. That would be just perfect for the poor people. I am pleased to note you involve to note you involvement in the business of the church. Good. What's next? I might even consider upgrading your church to a big church. I want a big church. That means more fate and more money. With a big church, you'll be closer to God. And what's more important to me than holiness? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's. I think money's more important to you because you seem like a scumbag, Episcop. But all this is far in the future. First thing, or first everything here has to be perfect is my haircut. <laughs> and I mean both the church inside and the graveyard outside. <laughs> so the next task is, um, oh, we got that task already done. Oh, we got that one done too. We have both of them done already. Um, speaking of high standards, I'd be so pleased if you could provide me with some fish. It'll save me from starvation. And not just any fish, I need red fish fillet. I believe you can find that kind of fish near the waterfall. You mean the town is starving right now? No, I can't eat meat. And as far and as for the fish from the town harbor, well, no, thank you. Not what the rotten ship of the dead half floating there. Ooh. So let's get this one done, which we do have. Yes, I'm no longer even disgusted to be here. Now just maintain it at the level to upgrade the church, and I got that one done too. The church is sh shining bright, Your Holiness. Damn right it is. It's nothing compared to the town cathedral, but for a church, it isn't half bad. Just a couple of steps left and then we can upgrade this church. So now we need that fish. Ten of them, apparently. Okay. Well, um, I, I still got stuff to do here, so give me a second. Okay, so put those candles in there. Good. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Don't run out of time. We got one more. I'll put it here. Up. Oh, drafted. Okay. Uh, do the combo prayer. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Alright, we, we got it done. What the hell is that over there? What's what's this? Why is there like a shadow in my church? Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's a good number of fate. Why is there a shadow in my church under that guy? I believe my, my prayer is so good that it's like, you know, removing the, the, the evil spirits within this guy. Oh my god, look at all this fate that we're getting to. Great sir, oh my god, everything's overlapping. 57, right. Well, I mean, it's still, that's still the money's still tied to the quality of our graveyard. So that's to be expected. That's the reason why I want to get those crazy looking graveyard stones so I can get some more money that way. But at least when it comes to like fate, 12 points in one sermon, I will definitely accept that. That was fairly good. Alrighty. I'm liking how my my, my little cathedral, my, not really cathedral, my, my church is looking, it's looking pretty good. Let's get my money here. Much needed money, because I'm I've been broke for a while. 17. I'm still broke. You know why? Because I use up a lot of that money every single week when I'm I have to like in order to get some of those blue orbs, I could also buy them from the astrologer. What the hell is this? What the hell? What do you give me here? Oh, I didn't even see that because I left in a rush. Um alright. Um don't you Okay. <laughs> go, go put that bowl in there for now. I, I don't need the water that could also go away. Uh, you're leaving. So he leaves when... Alright, let me remember this. He leaves, like, not at halfway, but, like... A little bit like an arch. Okay. I get you. What did I just pick up right now? Um, more stories. Cool. We got gold, silver, and bronze now. And the other thing was a... Oh, look at that! Five plus! Thank you! <laughs> I actually do need those a lot. Alright, let's have it now. Yeah! Alright, that makes me very, very happy. So... Oh boy, that was an entire rush, but we got it all done. So, what does not belong here? I mean, technically speaking, I can put whatever I want here now, right? In relation to this, well, I'll make the books. You know, once I make the bookshelf, I'll come back for these stories. For now, let's put these stories in here. That's good. You, you have your spot over there. You're my, my, my food. You're my boy. You're my boy. I have you guys go downstairs. Okay. So, with this done now, um, again, my goal right now is the freaking stone cutter, but we do need 50 blue orbs if I'm right for that. So, right now, we're at a 23, so I need like 25, which means the only way I know how to get more of these right now is by either one, talking to the astrologer and buying his book, but that's going to be a while because it's going to be Blue Day. So the other way is going to be um, just making glass, which is, you know, kind of tedious, so I'm not going to worry about that here today. I don't want to just um, grind in the video for you. 
So instead, we'll move over to Snake. Um, see if we can advance this thing with the woman for the necklace or whatever. So first and foremost, if you don't mind, let me go ahead and put all my stuff away because, you know, OCD, I can't be carrying the stuff with me. You go in there, um, you all go in the next one over here. And I believe we should go... Well, not right now because it's nighttime. But we should be able to go back to the bee area to see if we can acquire some bees, obviously, because I'd rather not buy them if I could avoid it. So you in there, you in there. <laughs> yeah, I still have the package meat. I haven't sold it yet, in case you were wondering. So, that's good. Let me go and do a little save, too, just because I'm worried about this game suddenly freezing on me and losing progress, and I don't want to do everything I've done all over again. So that's good. It also gives a little bit of time for the bee farm to... Well, not the bee farm, but the bee to respawn again. So... Snake. Right. Okay. We'll talk to Snake, but let me go over here and see if we can get lucky with some more of these bees very quickly. There's got to be another way to get blue orbs easily, without spending so much money at Astrologer, or making glass over and over. There's got to be a way. Because the problem is, like, later on, you could I've heard you could get a lot of blue orbs by making the... I got another bee, cool. Um, you could get a lot of blue orbs by... making the advanced tombstones. But the problem is, if you don't have enough blue orbs to unlock that option, you're kind of screwed for a while. That's my only concern. Like, everything else, and like, the thing is, you get a bunch of study points when you do the body parts as well. But I've already gone through all the body parts, and I've used all those blue orbs randomly, so... It's one of those situations. Alright, so today, well, apparently Miss Charm's Day is ending today. So we won't be able to, assuming we could even complete this quest, we won't be able to do it here today. But at least we'll get the snake portion of it done. Um, paper go in here for now. And... I guess fate points as well. And yeah, you could go in there for now, too. Okay, Bia, I'll put you together in the trunk with the rest of your friends. I'm not sure how your your friends are even alive in that trunk, but apparently you are. <laughs> I'll get you a hive soon, believe me. That's my goal here. As a matter of fact, we might just buy the couple of bees we have left over to make it. We'll see. Um, No, I'm not here for the town pass. I'm here for the necklace, my friend. Let's see. Where, where the hell is... I never gave you a bottle of wine. That I did. I mean, I, I all he does is gives you like stories, which I don't really need at this point. I think there's no progression to his story at this point. Acid, yeah, I need to get alchemy. But again, without the blue orbs, I can't get alchemy. Mrs. Charm, bring back the necklace from the snake. Inquisitor says to come on that day, but the Inquisitor seems to be done too, right? Last time the the quest said locked in the alpha build. Cultist comes on. Well, I mean, he's always here. Do I got to come on Green Day to talk to you about this or what? This seems kind of silly because you're here already. Yeah, it's another town pass. Hmm. Can we not talk to him about the, the necklace thing or what? Like, I know you can make jewelry in the game too, I believe. So maybe I just make a necklace and give it to her? But it says talk to Snake about it. Now, I don't know. I'm confused about this. Um, first and foremost, I, I really don't need... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want it. It's gonna take up space. And I'm very limited on space. That's a shame. Alrighty, well, I, I got no idea how to get rid of something. Because you can't even drop it. Ah, you gotta use the spot? Fine, we'll use a freaking spot for you. Well, let's see. This kind of puts me in a really tough spot now, because I have no idea, like, I, I guess I could... I, I just don't want to farm for you guys. This doesn't seem really exciting for you to watch me farm over and over. Um, well, I did talk about the vineyard. There is that. And by farming, I'm talking about, like, you know, looking for items, you know, collecting items over and over. There's literally farming the game, so I'm gonna make sure that there's a difference here. As a matter of fact, how about we legitimately farm right now? <laughs> and by farming, I mean, like, just planting seeds and, like, letting that stuff grow in. So, let me get eight of you. And we got wheat. Let me get eight of you. So, this type of farming, I don't mind. You know, I just put the seeds and I'm gone. But once I'm out there, like, collecting wood, chopping out trees over and over, that's the type of farming I want to spare you guys from watching, because I don't think that's really too exciting for a video. So, wheat seed. Well, we have a wheat field up there, but I guess we'll probably get a couple more seeds from that. We should be able to put the other field right there. So, that's good. Let's do cabbage down through here. Cabbage down through here. I'm not even sure what happened when I set up these fields, but I'm not sure why there's like random gaps here. I mean, it doesn't even cost you to... doesn't cost you a thing to make these, so I'm not sure why I missed a gap there. But I did! So there's that. 
And speaking of which, let's go ahead and just collect this here really quickly. And none of you guys give me any sort of, like, study points, right? Blue ones particularly? No. No? No, there it is. Okay. Pick up grass. Okay, did he need one? How many did he need? It was just one, right? We got three on that one. Look, I'm gonna take a couple of extra because honestly, in this game, sometimes it's not a bad idea to have more. I got six. By the way, can I come down here? Anybody know about this? I've always seen this area down here, but I believe it's probably through the town, right? Because I've, like, skirmished through here a little bit and I, there's no way to kind of get down there that I've noticed, but, you know, I tend to miss very obvious things sometimes. I'm curious because I see that, like, wreckage down there, so I'm thinking there's probably something good in there. Who knows? So here's this guy. All right, Mr. Hiccup, man. And vegetables. Right, the vegetables were almost done, too, but we need to get onions, which I still don't know where to get onion seeds from. Some, somebody's gonna sell them, maybe, like, in tier two. Um, here's the hiccup grass. No, oh, thank you. I'll eat it right now. Got another silver story. What a strange taste. Hmm. Now I taste nothing. Wait a second. Let me take a bite of the spicy cookie I have in my pocket. Spicy cookie? That's kind of weird. <laughs> did you do? Did you just do the deal with it type of thing with the sunglasses? You scumbag. Why it's tasteless? I sense nothing at all. Well, you, I just gave you what you asked for, the hiccup grass. Oh my god, it's happened! It's the curse! Once when I was young, I was told that I'd lose the most important thing in my life. Who told you that? An old fortune teller! I was traveling with my caravan in the desert across the Norton Mountains. We stopped at an oasis, and there was this old woman. Everything she said came through. And now this. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait a minute. Do you know any witches? I do, actually. No? What do you mean, no? Hmm. The Inquisitor probably burned them all. If old Clotu was still alive, she was pretty old when I was young. And if she's still alive, she must be a real wit. You should find her in the center of the Western Swamp. Tell her that the merchant and priest who used to buy the love potions from her need help. I'm sure she'll remember us. You were a priest? No, my brother was the priest. I don't want to talk about it. So I'm counting on you, my friend. Bring me a cure for this curse. I'll see what I can do. So now there's a curse too, huh? Okay. Grape seed. Oh, that's going to be for uh, my, my, my vineyard. Okay, so you know what? Let me pick up a couple for this from you because I want to get my vineyard. So I got some money. Let me buy... Probably more than I really wanted to, but whatever, we'll do we'll do that. You don't sell the fillet thing for the priest, right? No, I probably have to go and fish that myself. Well, I'm gonna buy those. Cool. Alrighty, so now apparently we have um a new part of the quest, which is apparently to talk to the old witchy witch, old Cloto, for this guy's curse. Okay, I wasn't even aware of this. But I'm glad I got it unlocked. Cool. So we're out of time. I'm gonna go back home and get some rest and save my progress so nothing um happens to it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's any sort of tips you guys want to let me know about stuff, like especially the blue orbs, is there an easier way right now that doesn't require, like, you know, studying body parts anymore, which I can't do, nor making those gravestones that I talked about? Let me know. Otherwise, I have to spend some money to buy them, buy them from the astrologer, which would then give me enough points, I want to say, to unlock the stone cutter, and then we can start just making gravestones for the graveyard, increase the quality there, and also get some points from making the gravestones themselves. But... At least we got some of this stuff done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.